Hey guys, this is Rockets Don't Make Good Toast. How are you today? I'm doing good, thank you. Okay. So this is the Y1411. I designed it myself. Let's get straight into it. Now this is a challenge where you take any plane, you take your favorite, the favorite plane you built, and then do something to it. But I won't tell you what it is until we get to it. So let's just look at this. Of course, this is very agile for such a large plane that it is. I've got a. W I've actually got one of these over there on that island. Yeah, I've got a one, a Y one Z one three one, a Y one. No, I think I got a Y one zero one, a Y one three one, and then a Y. One four one, which is this. So as you can see, pretty nice, pretty fast. Can actually go pretty fast. <laughs> it can go supersonic speeds, although it doesn't like to usually. And it takes a little while to get to there. I can pull up. And it can actually experience a very high number of G's. You're going supersonic speeds, and I pull up. Tail plane, tail plane comes off 15 G's. This thing can go just fine without a tail plane, but not very well without two. Oh no, we're screwed. Abort! Abort! It's a, it's the end of the world. Yeah, this thing can pull off some pretty hard G's, although. The tail plane. <laughs> and it's trying to keep it alive. You know how you do. It's pretty hard, I have to admit, but <laughs> oh well. And there we go. That's the original plane. Now let's get into the edited one. Or the special edi special edition as you might. And as you can see it's got an empty cargo hold for there for some weird reason. I don't know. I think I made use of it in the maybe a later version, but I don't know. Alright, okay, so, yeah. This is the modified version. You didn't see that. <laughs> you didn't see that. So let's just get into the air. It works very well for how, what kind of a plane it is. It's a giant plane with huge wings. And uh, so let's just get straight into it. Okay, it does do that a bit. <laughs> it's just because the most, uh, like all of the fuel is right there. Excuse <laughs> me. And then the center of mass is like right there. And of course, the wheels right, right there. So, let's just see this magic in action. So, the challenge is is, is to take your the favorite plane you built, which is this, and turn it into a VTOL while keeping the look as original as possible or as close to the original version as possible so of course it accelerates very well I found that it's level around there and let's just throttle uh, now you hit custom action 5 to engage these engines and you hit custom action Four to engage these engines, although you might want to engage them a bit more. 
Yeah, please, please go up. Thank you. Drop him, drop him, drop it down a bit. Once I reach about 50 meters per second, then I can cut, cut power to these engines. Actually, I can probably do it now. It'd probably be all right. Okay, pull up. <laughs> yeah. It just flies like the normal one. Although, it weighs literally twice, over twice as much. Like the old one weighed 108 tons, this one weighs 226 tons. <laughs> so, all of those, those engines do weigh a lot. As you can see, it isn't, it isn't the fastest. I must admit that. I mean, the only perk this has over the other one is that you can't tear off its wings just by the G's well I haven't done it yet <laughs> is that it's a VTOL and that it's a VTOL so if you want to stop or land let's say I want to land on the runway once I make another pass at this is just you go around and once you find a place you want to land at, then you hold on this. Yeah. Okay. So wait, kittens, puppies, something. I only have enough time it for, as it takes for you to click away. Oh no. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to hit five, then two. No, actually, you wanna you do, you want to just wanna hit two. You you wanna keep five on, but then you also wanna hit four. Okay, and now it is in pure VTOL mode. So you may do with it as you like as a VTOL. And of course, when I'm going to land, I like to hit two, which is also reverse thrust in the Goliath engines, but it also oh, hits the brakes. So I just want to take it in nice and easy and then cut power. Yeah. <laughs> It usually does that for a little while. Of course, you do want to hit four, just so that those don't get like dust from all the dust you kicked up. <laughs> so, if I had to change one thing about this design, I'd probably move those back a bit. But other than that, I think it's great. <laughs> so now, just to end off this video, I want to take this and land it on the space plane hangar because I tried landing it on the VAB several times and every time it just exploded not the plane, the VAB the VAB exploded every time I tried to land on it <laughs> so let's hit 4 again and then engage each of the thrust I will hit 2 and 1 again no, it won't hit one. There, now I'll hit one. <laughs> so I want to cut those. Yeah, no, I don't want to cut those. <laughs> I want to cut power to those engines just a bit. I'm going to make my way over there. <laughs> Actually, I deploy landing gear and deploy that. And, and deploy or engage brakes and reverse thrust but right now reverse thrust is not not affecting it at all because the engines are off but of course if we do ne if we need the engines on then we can just engage them oh yeah and three and six control the panther engine but that thing is never really useful so I just hit five to kill some velocity and pull up a bit. I want no velocity. 
compared to the space plane hangar. Kill that, kill that, hit X. And I landed it without a scratch. Somehow. <laughs> so yeah, that's this plane. Hit F4. So if you want this, I'll pro I will put the file. I don't know how, but if you could tell me how to do this, how to put the save file in here, then I will. It's really quite a nice plane. Eight out of ten, and would would fly again. <laughs> and make sure to keep that toast burnt. I'll see ya.